Hello, all my friends. Welcome to another daily vlog. It's Jess here. Um, today is Saturday, and I thought you guys might like to spend a day in the life with us. So if you are new, my name is Jess. I have three kids. You can always hear them in the background. Um, and I share my life over here on our YouTube channel. So today is Saturday. Of course, we did not sleep in at all. <laughs> uh, Nate was up at 5.30 this morning. He came in the room and he said, excuse me, can we go to the library today? <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, we probably can, but it's a little bit early for that. So I've pretty much been up since 5.30. I did try to like lay back down, but it, yeah, he was running around and playing. So anyway, <clears throat> David had, my husband, he is a minister. He had a service that he's doing this morning, um, just like a special. Sometimes on weekends, he has like things at the church, not super often, but occasionally there'll be a special event or something. So he was leading worship for that. So he's going to be gone for a couple hours this morning. I've been just kind of cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. We, I'm not going to show y'all really, really close because I'm still working on it. But right there, we bought a coffee cart. So I've been wanting to put a coffee cart on this wall because all of my coffee stuff used to be on this cabinet right here. And it took up a lot of my, or this countertop, um, it took a lot of my counter space. And we have a coffee pot and an espresso machine. I love both of them. And I didn't tell you all the saga of the coffee pot. If you remember like a month ago, our coffee pot died. And it was when my mom and dad were visiting. And I went and I got a new coffee pot. And it was the Drew Barrymore beautiful coffee pot. And it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. I loved it. I loved the design of it. I loved the look of it. I just loved it. Um, and it worked okay for a few weeks. Um, it took me a little while to get used to it. Like, it was a hard coffee pot to work. I don't know why they designed it like they did. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I YouTubed how to work this coffee pot, how to turn it on. It was very finicky. Well, we were getting used to it, though. Um, and about a week ago, it completely stopped working. It would only brew about that much of coffee, like not even that much, like that much, like a sip. And we would restart it and it would brew like another sip. We tried everything to get this coffee pot to work. Anyway, we took it back and we got a different coffee pot. I'll have to show you all when I show you the coffee cart. I've got some decorations. That's why I'm not showing it to you really close up, but I found a really good deal. Actually, Jen helped me find that on Amazon for really, a really good deal. It was regularly like, $250 when we got it for 85. It was a really good deal. So I have some cabinets that I'm going to put a lot of stuff in. I'll show y'all all of that, but I've got to like make it look pretty before I show you everything. Hey, Mark is at this phase of toddler life where he just screeches and mm, it is annoying. Um, he's really mad at his cars or something. I don't know. Anyway, the new coffee pot is not as pretty. All right. Yeah. I couldn't let him keep on screaming like that without getting onto him. Um, the new coffee pot is not as pretty, definitely not, but I really love it. It's super simple. It works really well. You can preset it. It has an extra large capacity, which is what I loved about the Drew Barrymore, one. Drew Barrymore one. It was 14 cups. And so sometimes you just need, like when we have a lot of people over and stuff, I like to be able to have a bigger coffee pot. So I'm working on that and um, kind of cleaning the kitchen, getting some stuff moved around. Um, Mark is being very loud. The plan for today, let's talk about that. David is going to let me know when he gets done with his service event today. And um, he's going to go get a haircut. And I, he may swing by and pick up Nate because Nate could also really use a haircut. Mark too, but I don't want to. I don't think you can handle all three of them without me being there. And I didn't want us like all to have to go out again. So um, him and Nate may go get a haircut or maybe just David. Anyway, he's going to do that. And then he's going to swing by and pick up a pizza for lunch for the kids. And then he's going to come home and Alabama plays at noon. If he wants to watch that. Do you guys see this? What's your problem? That scream. Yeah, let's not scream. That's right. Sorry, everybody. Sorry for your eardrums. You want to show us your police car? Get it. Garbage truck. Okay, garbage truck. Go show that. 
Yeah, go get it. Um, okay, so David's going to watch the Alabama game at noon. By the way, I'm just letting my face breathe today. I've got like really broken out like all over my face, like right there and like there's some down here. And when it happens like that, I just need to let my face rest. So I don't have any makeup on. I did put a little bit of mascara and some lip gloss. After he gets home, Nate has been obsessed. Sorry, you guys. Saturdays are crazy pants. Um, anyway, David's going to come back at noon, watch the game. The kids will eat some pizza. I'm probably going to fast their lunch because I just feel better when I do that. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and take Nate to the library. He's been asking to go every single day since I took all of his big Nate books back on Wednesday. And all he wants to do is go back over there and check them out again. And I keep trying to like put it off because I'm like, somebody else might want the big Nate books because he wants all of them. But um, he loves them. And we'll just maybe see if he'll pick out a few. I have a feeling he's going to want all of them. Um, he just loves the big Nate books. I really need to tell people for Christmas and stuff, the books that he doesn't have so that he can get his own collection and we can stop wearing out the library ones. But he just loves them so much. And I'm just noticing my curtain rod is completely crooked over there. Like it's hanging like this, <laughs> probably from some child pulling on it. Anyway, I think I'm going to take him to the library. And then on the way home, I'm going to stop at Aldi. We are almost out of milk. We have about that much milk left. That won't even last throughout the day. Um, I'm going to do a big haul probably Monday, Sunday or Monday, but we just need some milk to get through and maybe a few other little things that I can get at Aldi. And then I'm thinking about just doing like a really big pickup this week. It just saves so much time and not having to shop. I need to like sit down today and go through Pinterest and my recipe book and figure out the meal plan. I really need to have a strong meal plan this week because we've been eating out a lot. And, um, I just want to like get back to eating at home. So that's kind of the plan for the day. I will take you guys with me. And, um, when I get the coffee cart done, I ordered some things off Hobby Lobby. We don't have a Hobby Lobby real close. And so I just paid the eight ninety nine dollars shipping to get a few things shipped because it would cost more than that to go to Hobby Lobby and back in gas. Um, so when I get it all done in a few days, I will show y'all, I'm still tweaking some stuff, but I think it's going to just give me so much more space and it has a cabinet. So I'm going to move all of my coffee cups and all the stuff that's in our other cabinets. We don't have a dedicated pantry. So the cabinets just, there's not a lot of room. We have a, a storage like cabinet in our, in my office that I keep a lot of pantry items in. Um, but in the kitchen, we don't have a dedicated pantry. So it's the cabinets and if I can get more cabinets so I can hold more food and hopefully get that a little more organized. But David had to put that cabinet together and it took him like three or four hours. It was a huge job. He is like the best at putting stuff together. I am terrible at it. Um, he had to like assemble the drawer. It was like a whole thing, but he did really good. So I'm going to go and get the kids ready, go ahead and get them dressed. And then, um, I'll let you guys know how the rest of the day goes. Y'all can spend it with us. All right, you guys, this is, I'm not going to show you really any of the coffee bar yet. Like I said, I'm waiting to show you that. And I'm going to be moving this sign. It's not, <laughs> it's not going to stay there, but I'm waiting for the other stuff, but I want to show you how empty. So this used to be coffee mugs, coffee, any kind of like sweeteners, teas, hot chocolate, anything like that. And now it is fully a pantry. I mean, this is not our full pantry. This is more like pantry items, not snacks, canned goods, um, pasta. I have a bunch more pasta in the other one, but like stuff we're actually in the middle of using up. So I have a bunch of cans here. I have more cans other places. This isn't all the cans. So it's been the hardest about getting used to this kitchen. I love my kitchen, but everything is like divided up. <laughs> There's not like one area. I still want to kind of go through. I think there's some stuff up there that, you know, could be consolidated better. But still, this is so much more room. I even, I have this like turn style storage that I keep like my flour, sugar, different like big things. And I was able to take a lot of stuff out of there and put in here. So 
it's just going to free up so much space not to have this area be coffee supplies. And I was able to move my air fryer over here. I'm going to move my, my charging cords over here and kind of try to hide them a little bit. They used to be over here. And I would be like trying to cut stuff and do stuff and all the charging cords would be right here and it would just make me so annoyed. So I'm still kind of figuring it out. I really like cleaned off countertops. Like I don't like to have canisters out. I don't like to have a lot of stuff out, but the air fryer is a must. I'm washing the inside of it. I really need to get another air fryer. I've had this for like five years. And even though I clean it, it still is like really caked on i don't know how else to say it it's clean it's just really worn um but it still works so we're, we're using it for a while um i leave my toaster out this is usually a, bas a bowl of apples um and then i have that cutting board out that's really it on this side so i think that's not too bad i just really like the look of a cleaned off counter Anyways, I am just so happy. So now while I'm waiting on David to get done and the rest of the day to happen, I'm going to clean this off. I think this is the hottest mess. Um, like stuff has spilled. Like there's, I think cocoa powder. This wasn't perfectly, there's a bunch of stains on this. Even when we bought it, I cleaned it and there was still stuff that wouldn't come off all the way, but this is definitely worse. <laughs> a bunch of this stuff probably needs to be thrown away. But I do like this having this here because as I'm cooking or baking, I can just open it up and all my stuff is like right there. So maybe I'll start on this and um, see how far I can get today. It's going to be like the last little project I do because I'm kind of getting over it. But it will feel good to kind of get some of this stuff, you know, straightened out. And then what I can move up here and leave this more baking big items is what I'm thinking. I love this little thing, spinny thing. I have another one over here. And this is mostly, don't judge, <laughs> since it's a mess too. This is mostly like small appliances, um, big kitchen items like that, pans and uh, my, my food processor, bread pans. That's my letter board letters. I need to organize that. My bunt pan. So those are really, really handy. And here I have more small appliances. I am not even going to show y'all. It's a hot mess. It's got my crock pot, my Instapot, um, cheese grater, some of my larger pots. And then this also is a hot mess. It's just a bunch of snacks. There's cereal. It's mostly like kids snacks in there. And also some baking pans. And then I always, this is also a mess, so don't judge. Everything I own right now in my kitchen is a mess. Anyway, we're just going to, um, this is like a hot mess express. I need to go through this, but I'm not doing everything today. I had this really organized for the kids' snacks. And then, like, we got a bunch of candy, and that got thrown in here. And I got a bunch of Mio's, and that got thrown in here. And random crystal light and gum and stuff. So it's not organized anymore. That's another day's project. And that down there, I've organized a hundred times. And it's just, it's such a large area. I need to like buy some shelves or something to be able to separate things. But again, that is another problem another day. When you're organizing, you really just have to go slow with yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. So today's project was this cabinet. And maybe this one, but I'll keep y'all posted. You guys, I got it done. So it looks so much better. It's not like beautiful. It's not going to win any awards. I need to clean the top of that. I didn't realize that was dirty, but I threw away everything that had gone bad. There was just a couple things and I moved a couple of the other things to the big pantry. Um, and then I put my powdered sugar and my brown sugar in mason jars. And I've heard that if you put a piece of bread in there with it, it keeps it soft. We will see how that goes. Um, that is a funnel cake maker that I have. It's just an easy place to put it. And now all my stuff is organized. I'm going to wipe the top off of that. And I'm going to call it quits. I need to get the laundry switched over. But I think if I do like one cabinet a week, you know, in like a month, it'll be done. So that's kind of my, that's kind of my goal. So I thought you guys might like to see some organization inspiration because I'm constantly 
figuring out new things to try. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you guys back in a little bit. It's 11. Let's see. It's 11, 11. Um, David should be done soon and we will see what we're going to do next. Hey guys, football's going on. So hopefully you can hear me. Okay. Um, David stopped to get the kids a pizza after him and Nate got a haircut. Nate looks really handsome. I'll show y'all. Maybe I'll show you some clips of us going to the library. They ate some pizza. Of course, Mark is like refusing to eat pizza. He's refusing to eat anything that's like actual food. Toddler life, it's, it's strong. Um, but he did have, he, he found a bag of goldfish like earlier today and ate way more than I knew that he ate. And so he's probably still full from, from that. We're going to continue to work on it. He still likes taco meat. So that's good. Um, but he's still like, even taco meat, he's not eating as much as he used to. Anyway, he's a really good weight and all that. But anyway, besides the point, what was I about to say? Um, we are about to leave to go to the airport. Did I just say the airport? We are about to leave. <laughs> we are about to leave to go to the library. Um, Lucy didn't want to go, but now she does want to go. So she's getting ready really quick. And then I need to run into Aldi. We are completely out of milk. I knew the milk was going to be gone before the rest of the day. It's, it's gone. Uh, I'm still fasting and I'm starting to feel pretty hungry, but it, this is what really helps me is just to get out of the house. Smelling that pizza was hard, <laughs> but, um, and it'll feel better if I wait a little bit. And I have a buffalo chicken pizza in the freezer, which I think I'm going to make for myself for dinner. And I'll enjoy that more than just the cheese pizza that they had. So we're about to head to the library. Nate, come here. Let's see if he would show you guys his hair, but he's running around. Um, we're going to run to uh, the library and Aldi. We'll take you guys with us. And then I'm hoping I can get back and take like a small little nap or just lay down and like read a book for like an hour. That'd be so nice. I just laid Mark down for a nap though. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys when we get there. Right, you guys I have totally failed at vlogging today so I think the last thing you saw we were at the library that's been hours ago <laughs> so let me see um we went to the library me Lucy and Nate they had a great time they got to play just a little bit on the iPads I don't like to let them play a long time on the iPads because I'm like we have that at home you know but there is a few apps that they don't have <clears throat> I like learning apps and then they picked out a lot of books. Nate cleared the shelf with the big Nates. I, I got him to leave the ones we already had there, but he wanted all of them. <laughs> He's like, I'll take all of them. Um, so I'm going to let him keep them for like one round, but I'm not going to renew them because he is just like hogging them all. <laughs> They're popular books. Um, anyway, he loves them so much. Then we went to Aldi. I did a little grocery haul that probably is going to go up before this one and we only spent like $39 but it was a lot of just produce milk um just a couple of random things honestly it was chaotic in there I'm gonna go ahead and start the car it's really hot um <clears throat> it was really chaotic in Aldi and Nate has I don't know how to describe this going to the store with him he does well but he's he can get loud and when he I mean, get loud like he's just laughing loud it's nothing like like I don't know I don't know what he's trying to do <laughs> he just thinks it's funny to like laugh and he wants to like lean on me or he wants to wander off so a lot of times I have to like hold on to him the whole time we're shopping I try to get him to hold on to the buggy today he did pretty well, but he kept like leaning on me and he's looking for that like sensory input. And so we just kept it brief. He did get to pick out, he picked out some strawberries and he got, I asked if he wanted like some ABC cookies or he was looking for Oreos. He was looking all over that store. And then we found the pumpkin spice Oreos. They had them at Aldi because y'all know he likes the golden ones, the golden Oreo, just straight up golden Oreos. And so he was studying that package. And I said, Nate, those are pumpkin spice. We can get them. We have some at home already, but they're pumpkin spice. And he was like, no. <laughs> so I told him I would get him some at Walmart. Anyway, we came home after the Aldi trip and just had a little bit of quiet time. The kids read a lot of their books. Mark took a nap. Of course, we left him. He was taking a nap. And then he took a nap 
about an hour after we got home, he woke up. I just, I should have slept, like took advantage of the nap. But what I did was I looked on my phone and like watched Instagram reels and, you know, you get sucked down a black hole with that. And then we got up and Lucy and daddy played Quirkle. I tried to keep Mark out of their hair so they could play. He loves to interrupt them because he wants those little Quirkle. If you ever play Quirkle, there's, um, numbers numbers letters letters i haven't played in a while letter tiles and he wants like he'll be like q <laughs> so um no it's not letters it's numbers it's numbers it's numbers what am i saying anyway he wants all the he wants all the tiles and then um i'm thinking of uh rummy cubist letters too anyway down a black hole it's it's definitely numbers there's no letters anyway and then we went to um it's not either. It's shapes. It's shapes. I don't know how I got that all mixed up. I knew that wasn't right. I'm like, I know it's not numbers. Anyway, so I tried to keep him out of their hair, but he kept trying to get in there. Anyway, they played Quirkle. And then I'm telling you, I'm tired of it up since 530 this morning. And it's, it's been a long day. Then I made everybody dinner. I just did a really simple breakfast for dinner for the kids. They had French toast and fruit and yogurt. We kept it real simple. And I've been fasting all day, so I was really looking forward to dinner. That's what's so great about fasting is you can really make the one meal that you eat or however much time you eat, you can really enjoy your food. And I always pick something I can look forward to. And so I got a chopped salad at Aldi. It was a Caesar salad. I definitely like the Walmart Caesar salad better, but it was still really good. And I had that. And then I had some of the buffalo chicken pizza I got from Aldi like the last time I went, like a few days ago. And it was divine. I just realized the radio was on. I hope y'all didn't hear that. Um, it was so good. It was like the best frozen pizza. I love buffalo chicken anything. But buffalo chicken pizza is one of my favorite things. And it's hard to get like the right texture of the chicken when it's been frozen. This was so good. It was like a thin crust pizza and it had chicken on it. And the package said it was breaded. I didn't taste any breading or see any breading. It must have been really light. It was so moist. It was so cheesy. Really thin, crispy crust, which normally I don't like a thin crust pizza, but this was perfect. I put some ranch on that. It was so good. Even David, who's not a buffalo chicken person, it was spicy, but it wasn't like knock you over spicy. I was like, you have to try this. And so he tried and he's like, oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm like, I know. So um, why am I in the car? <laughs> Let me get to that. I had some of that pizza and I'm so full. I was planning on doing like a dessert. I have some Nutella. I thought like Nutella with fruit. Anyway. I can't. I'm too full. So I just had a couple of grapes just to kind of get the sweet. I needed something sweet, you know, so I had some grapes. And now I'm in the car because, okay, my car is being very loud. Um, I need to go get an extension cord for the coffee cart. And the one we have that I thought was going to work isn't going to work because we need a three-prong one. The espresso maker has a three-prong one uh, plug. And our... Um, outlet that's next to the coffee cart is just a little it's too far from where we need it to be so we're definitely going to, have to get an extension cord we we're looking on walmart all the extension cords that were three prongs were like 15 dollars. i'm like i do not want to pay 15 dollars, and they were all 10 foot cords i don't need anything that big i need like three to six feet and so um david's like let me look at kroger and i'm like kroger is not i know kroger does not have an extension cord and he looked it up and sure enough it says they have an extension cord for like eight dollars and i'm like so i'm gonna go to he's like i'll go get it and i'm like no <laughs> i haven't been away from kids in days i have um of course he's helped me around the house and i've taken breaks inside but just to be out and get to look at whatever i want or just have time to myself i love going out and just running an errand by myself that may seem really lame but i'm going to do that and i thought about going back to aldi to see if they had any more buffalo chicken pizzas because the thing with aldi is these flavors like I had a jalapeno popper pizza that was really good as well like a month ago month or two ago 
once those are gone, they don't bring them back for like a year, if ever. And so I'm like, I want to get like five pizzas and put them in the freezer because I loved it that much. And um, I don't think they have any more because I don't remember seeing them today, but it was so chaotic in there with Nate. I wasn't looking for them. So I'm going to just see if they have any. And if they have some, I'm going to like stock up. So Kroger and... Aldi. And then I'm going to come home. Uh, David said his mom and dad want to FaceTime, which is great. We haven't talked to them in several weeks. So I'll probably get back a little after that starts, but that's okay. And um, we're going to finish out the day. Tomorrow is church. So it'll be an early morning getting everybody ready for that. So we try to make Saturday nights a little bit more chill. We may watch a movie or something once the kids go to bed, but I, we've all been up since like 5.30 in the morning, thanks to Nate. So, excuse me. So, we're probably going to be going to bed pretty early. I think Mark is teething. I need to look up well, if there's teeth that come in at his age because he's been having his fingers in his mouth. It has to be that. Um, so, he's been a little bit fussy and waking up in the night. And we're not getting a lot of sleep. So, I will let y'all know when I get to Kroger or Aldi if I am successful. He's like, the app is showing it in the hardware section of Kroger. Y'all, our Kroger is tiny. Like, it has one aisle of, like, health and beauty slash school supplies slash home supplies. I'm like, they have a home, uh, what did I just say, a tool section? I'm just like, what? So, we're going to go see I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying I am shocked. And if, if David's right, he's saving us like $8 and that adds up. So I do have a grocery pickup scheduled for tomorrow. So if for some reason, I'll probably just run. If they don't have it, I'll probably just run into Walmart. I was saying I could add it to the grocery pickup, but I'll be right there. So might as well just get it and get the coffee all set up because um, right now where the coffee pot is, we can't plug it in. So I'm having to like move it around the kitchen when we want coffee and then put it back anyway. I'm going to get going because I know this video is getting long because I've been talking for y'all for like 10 minutes. So I'll see y'all back in a little bit. Guys, they have it um, right here. I cannot believe it. Like I'm over here with the laundry detergent. <laughs> there is, this is the hardware section right here, which all thought they would have had the exact extension cord we need for $8 and 39 cents. I am shocked, but Good job, honey. All right, last little update. Went into Kroger, found the cord, and then I saw that they had their golden Oreos for a little bit cheaper than the regular Oreos I was gonna buy Nate. That was already on my pickup list, and so I was like, well, I'll just get them here and see if I can cancel them for tomorrow's pickup, because I'm sure they haven't shopped yet. I'll pull up my, such a good thing I did this. I pulled up my Walmart app, and it said that it, it had like my time had expired and I never officially checked out, which is crazy. I guess when I hit checkout, it never, I thought it processed, but it didn't. So I would have been so screwed if I hadn't caught that. So I was able to get in and get the same time I wanted. But if I had waited till tomorrow, that time would have been gone. I would have been late on my groceries, which isn't the biggest deal. But anyway, so I thought, well, I'm going to go to Aldi to check on this pizza. Let me see if there's anything on my list I can get cheaper at Aldi. And so I just went through there and got a couple of things I knew was cheaper and then canceled them on my Walmart order so that, I mean, I saved a few dollars, not a ton, but any little bit you can save, like Brussels sprouts were cheaper. Um, graham crackers were just a little bit cheaper. Barbecue sauce was a lot cheaper. So there was certain things I was like, well, I'm already here. So let me just get it. So I will put all of this in the hall <laughs> this week, but you guys are kind of getting behind the scenes of what happened they did not have the pizza it's gone I don't know like I'm gonna still check because like they could get another shipment or there could be more in the back they haven't put out but they didn't have any and I should have bought more than one but you don't know until you try it you know so I'm gonna go home and get ready for bed and put the kids to bed all that if you like this video and you want to see more like it make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below please subscribe if you're new we'll see y'all tomorrow bye Maybe half past two A little drunk when I'm alright Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love